Hello YouTube viewers, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and today I would like to share with you my collection which is a combination of 1997 and 1998 Sandra Cox pieces. I also have one that's from the Maud Humphrey Bogart collection and it's a 1991 and I have a 1994 UNESCO Corporation piece and then I have one that's from the Pleasant Company. It's American Girl, and it's the one with the bear over there. So anyway, I want to share one, each one with you up close. Now, the most that I have paid for any of these has been $2, which is this one. I paid $2 for this one. So I want to share them with you, and I hope that you enjoy the details on each. Now, let's start with this bigger one here. Now this one reminds me of my granddaughter. My granddaughter is just like that. Very light skinned, blonde, you know, and she puts her hair just like that. So this one, let's see, this one, someone wrote 2005. I don't know if that's accurate. And I didn't pay $1.99 for it. It was, I think, $1.50. So this one might be a 2005, might be ac accurate, I'm not sure. I have no way of really knowing. And then, let's see, the one right next to her, I love that one. That one's one of my favorites. I just zoomed into her so that you can see the details. Now that one I bought for, let's see if she has the price. Some of them don't have the price, but... Like I said, oh, no, no, I remember now. I paid a dollar for this one. I paid a dollar for that one. So she's my one of my favorites. She's sitting down. I already made a creation. It was a piano room, so that's on my channel. Now, the one behind her there, that is from the Sandra Cox collection, and she's writing a letter. It says, Dear, so I have used her in a Christmas creation. This past Christmas, I used her in our Christmas creation. And let's see what it says on here. $1.50, Sandra Cox, first edition, 1997. Beautiful. And look at the shape that they're in. And I just paid that for that. Now, this one here is The American Girl. This one is Pleasant Company American Girl. Hallmark Cards. So that was one of the first ones that I bought and many of you know that I shop at flea markets, thrift stores, and yard sales. So that's why I pay almost nothing for these. But I do hunt. In order to get these, I have to hunt. They're vintage and they're very hard to find. Now I have this other one here. She's playing with the cat, two cats. And there's a string. She's holding the string. She's also from the Sandra Cox collection. $1.50. I paid nineteen ninety seven. In great condition. I tell you there is nothing chipped about this piece. So, this one here is part of a couple. There's also a boy, but I just incorporated her in here because this is all about the girls. So she's eating an apple there. Some of them don't have markings, but I paid 50 cents for her. Then this one's one of my favorites. This one I paid a dollar for. Now this one is a Maud Humphrey Bogart 1991. Look at that. Beautiful. I love this one. This was one of my favorites. Maud Humphrey Bogart, 1991, made in Thailand. Beautiful. Then I have those other two little ones. Those were a dollar each. One of them actually looks like a doll, and the other one looks like a girl. So I've used them in some of my creations. Then I also got this one. This one doesn't have any markings. I think I paid like 50 cents for that one. Then this one here doesn't even look like a, a young girl. She looks like an older lady, but can't really tell. 
I bought her along with this one and this one. They have no markings, nothing. Then here I have the ones from Sandra Cook's collection. This I paid two dollars for. Sandra Cook's collection, 1998. Beautiful. No defect, nothing. Great condition. There's a little fairy girl back there. This one I paid, I believe it was either 25 cents or 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cents for that one. And then the two back there are actually from a dollar power store. Bought them a long time ago. One of them is missing something. Let's see. I think it's one of the chairs is missing a leg. It's broken off. And then there's one more, which is this one here. She's in her pajamas. She has a book and a blanket in her hands. So she's probably ready to go to sleep. Now this one, no marking. And I think I paid a dollar for that one. So yes, I shop at flea markets, yard sales, and thrift stores for these items. I hope that you have enjoyed every one of them. Thank you for your time and thank you so much for watching.